Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna head underwater and we're gonna talk about crappie jigs. Winter is crappie season. Early winter can be lights out for big crappie. Moving in shallow to feed. Winter time when the ice is on, you know we're lighting those crappie up. So let's go underwater today. Let's talk about the jigs that we use to make that happen and the soft plastics that we use. Hey, we'll see you underwater. <laughs> Welcome back underwater. First up, we got the Bobby Garland Minnow Minder. This is a big bait. I like to throw bigger crappie plastics. As the water is cooling down, you're gonna get a bigger, better bite. As the water gets colder progressively and the ice season gets prolonged, smaller baits are going to be better. But here's the Bobby Garland Crappie Minder. I really like translucent colors on this bait. It's got a dual tail action and it looks really, really, really good mid strolled or on a bobber rig. Um, it's very, very, very enticing in action. Once again, translucent colors seem to do a really, really good job for me as the water cools down from fall to winter because the pr crop are primarily on bait fish and we get to bug colors as the water gets colder and the crappies stop eating bait fish and they start eating those larvae and insects on the bottom as the water gets really cold. But good basin bait right here. Next up, we have the Bass Pro Shops Humbug. I really like this one when they're shallow. If you go in the channels for crappie or shallow cover, as the water gets a little bit more murky, I like the Humbug. I actually catch a lot of bass throwing this lure. I fish this one almost like a tube, right? I throw it out there, pop it off the bottom, let it fall, pop it off, off the bottom, let it fall. Catch a lot of bass. It's almost like a Ned Rig, but I've caught some dandy crappie. I watched Caden catch a 15 inch crappie on a bait just like this um, late, late, late in the winter last year in open water. Um, it's just a good profile. It moves a lot of water. See, you can see it here. Fish kind of like a Ned Rig. Crappie will eat this around cover. Um, I like it around wood cover. I like it shallow in channels. Its castability is great. It functions like a Ned Rig, and I really appreciate that. It's a different look on a crappie bait, and it does a really good job for me, but it's also subtle, right? It doesn't move a lot of water. It's not going to disturb the fish, but it is going to call them in, and they definitely enjoy eating the humbug when you're fishing in stained water or close to vegetation and cover, um, which sometimes happen in the winter. Big crappie do move shallow this time of the year, so it's a great bait to throw in that cold water period. Next up, we have the Bobby Garland Baby Shad Pole. This is an older bait. I really like it because it's a longer bait. As the water gets colder, I like to move towards this straight tail bait as opposed to anything else. As I get vertically fishing in those crop you're setting up on deep structure or on the ice in the basins, I feel like a straight tail bait gets a ton of action. Caden and Rob fish baits like this all the time on the ice and they slay crappie and perch and big bluegill. That straight tailed bait can be dead sticked or it can be fished vigorously. We have a ton of underwater footage of crappie and bluegill eating straight tail baits like this on the ice. All right, we're gonna work on getting a lot of underwater ice fishing this year. Hopefully we can get some big crappie and some big perch on straight tail baits just like this. But straight tail baits get really, really good midwinter, right? Early, 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 I like a lot more action. Later in the winter, that subtle straight tail bait walked in a circle just like this is gonna get a lot of heat from crappie and perch. And it does a great job both dead sticked and with aggressive action. 
same kind of bait here, but this one I like when the water is a little bit more off color or crappie have come all the way up to the boat and are chasing baits down. This is the Bobby Garland stroller. My son Flynn actually caught a 13 inch red ear on this bait off the dock one time in the middle of the summer. It almost functions like a swim bait. It's got that nice aggressive fall to the bottom right here and it does a good job of calling to open water fish. So when the water's really cold and I need to cast, this is a bait that gets that call. The tail moves no matter what. It's good jigged, but it's really great casted. I like this under a float rig because you can pull it up and let it fall under that float, hit a certain depth, and then come back, pop that float, let it fall again. I really enjoyed this as the ice comes off and those crappie are in ready to spawn. It does a fantastic job for me, but it also does a good job midwinter open water under a float rig for me. Just being a different look, making those basin crappie have to commit. Once again, this is a great shallow water bait. It's got a lot of action, but it's a different action than most fish are used to seeing. And finally, we've got a classic, the Bobby Garland Baby Shad. I really like the white with gold flake in it. This is a great, great lure when fish are bait fish driven. I like this translucent color once again. The gold flake gives it a little pop on those cold winter days. This is a fantastic ice jig right here. I fish this one a lot when I'm on the ice in clear water. I feel like the translucent color with a gold flake gives you a benefit of something that the crappie don't see a lot. A lot of guys throw neon colors. I like to throw translucent colors. I'm just speaking from experience on baits that have gotten me bigger and better bites. You can always catch them on neon colors, but I feel like translucent colors get bigger crappie. Sometimes not necessarily numbers. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed going underwater, looking at all these baits that we used to catch crappie. Like we said, cold water period is a phenomenal time to catch schooled up crappie in those big old Christmas trees right on the graph. We hope you enjoyed getting a look at how we jig these lures, what lures we cast, what lures we jig, how we use those different specific things. Let us know in the comments what you want us to do in the future. If you want more multi-species, if you want more underwater, if you want technique specific stuff, let us know, right? We're here, we're growing. We want to help you guys out. We want to keep the baits relevant. We want to keep the videos relevant. So like, subscribe, hit that bell. Let us know in the comments what you want to see in the future, and we will see you guys out there next time.